Took me six months to come up with the design specs alone. Titanium construction, ablative skin cowling, trinitro propulsion units. What's up guys, Sahaman Man back with another review. Today we are taking a look at something that's super cool. Jada Toys, Metal Diecast, Batman, the animated series Batmobile, and Batman action figure. I guess it's a Batman figure. They're both diecast. Now, I've reviewed a lot of stuff from Jada Toys, from their figures, to all of the Batmobiles. And it's really, really cool that they finally did a Batmobile from Batman the Animated Series, which I consider the best animated series of all time. Now, they're also gonna be coming out with another 66 Batmobile. It's supposed to have some light up features, so I can't wait for that as well. The packaging is really cool. You have the big open window in the front. It reads Metal Diecast, Batman and the Batmobile. And then you have the Batman logo right over here. I like the top of the box because you can, in the background, like in the card, you can actually see Gotham City there. So you can kind of see the cities and the, and the buildings and whatnot. You have the Batmobile, you have Batman, you have an open window right there on the side. Same thing on this side right over here and you can see the back of the car right there on the back. Shows you an image of the Batmobile and you can actually lift up the hood which is something that I think is really cool. So that's the back of the packaging here. Let me, show, let me show you the bottom of the box. There is the bottom now in case you guys are wondering. I actually picked this up from Amazon but I know it's supposed to be hitting targets I think now. So let's go ahead and open this up and take a close look at the Batmobile and we're gonna see if this is a pickup or is it a pass. Just to give you guys a heads up once you take the actual card outside of the box so it's gonna look like this. Make sure you guys have a Phillips screwdriver in hand because you're gonna need it to remove the Batmobile and also to remove the Batman figure you can see right there. So you're gonna need a Phillips screwdriver. All right guys, so first thing that we're gonna look at in the packaging is the die-cast Batman that comes in the set. Now, the cape is actually a soft rubber and I really, really love the pose that he's in. It's, it's kind of like an iconic Batman, the animated series Batman pose. Um, you can see right over here, he's got the gray suit, he's got the yellow belt, the, bat, the oval Batman logo. He's got kind of like an angry face there. And he has a Batarang in his hand. To be honest with you, this is probably the best Batman figure out of all the Jada Toys slash Metal Diecast Batmobiles that come with a, with, that come with a Batman figure. This is probably the best one. I really have to give Metal Diecast a lot of credit for this one. They did a great job in sculpting him. I mean, it, he looks awesome. It looks great. The cape looks good. The head sculpt looks really good because some of the other ones, their faces kind of look kind of bleh. And then I love that he has his battering. I love that it's a different pose too. He's just not standing up straight. And the cape, again, is a soft rubber material. I love that. And uh, let's see if he stands perfectly on his own. And yeah, yeah, he does. The Batman figure stands really good on his own. We'll do another comparison with another Batman figure in a second. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the Batmobile. This is gonna be pretty much the reason why you want this set, is for the Batmobile. But you know, honestly, that's the reason why I wanted it. But now that I have the Batman out, the Batman was a great figure itself too. So we're looking at the Batmobile. Now again, this is die cast. The entire Batmobile seems to be all metal. Uh, the wheels are just a soft rubber material and you can see, whoa, you can see they all spin together on both axles there. But there is a bottom look at the Batmobile. No, there's not a lot of detail or anything on there. And again, it does roll very nice. Right there on the back, you can see the lights and the exhaust right there, which looks fantastic. I think they did such a great job in this. And I believe in this scale, this is the first time they've ever done a uh, Batmobile based off of the animated series. Um, right over here on the top, you have the little metal pieces here and it's kind of like in a silver color. Now, I don't remember if in the animated series they have the guns, kind of like the uh, Tim Burton Batmobile did. Not too sure. Not too sure why those were there. I don't remember if anything really popped out. If they did, let me know in the comments below. One thing that's kind of a disappointment, the canopy doesn't open. That was something I was actually hoping for, that the canopy would open, but it does not open, unfortunately. And then right here in the front, you have the grill, and then you have the lights. And it almost looks like this thing would light up. It, that's what it kind of looks like, but unfortunately that doesn't either. And if you, I mean, the camera's not gonna be able to pick this up, but inside of the, uh, of the canopy of the, of the cockpit there, you can actually see some detailing in the driver's seat. So you can see some of the gauges and everything. So they did put some detailing in there, but it just doesn't open. Now, one of the features that it does have is you can actually open the front hood here. So we just lift this part up and you can actually see 
you know, what looks to be the engine there. So that's a really cool little design that they did there, a little addition. But I honestly would have preferred if it had the, uh, the canopy opening. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. This is such a nice piece. Now, again, if you were to bring the Batman out, and I'm not sure if this one would be in scale. No, this is not gonna be in scale at all. But I think what Metal Diecast should do is start making figures that are in scale with the actual Batmobile and you can actually fit them in there. I think that'd be really cool. But let's go ahead and do some comparisons really quick. Now I had to do a comparison with, I would say the best Batmobile of all time, and that is Tim Burton's Batmobile, which is what the animated series is kind of loosely based off of is Tim Burton's films. And uh, the, yeah, this Batmobile here from the animated series is my second favorite Batmobile. So let's get the camera up and we'll do a little bit of uh, of uh, comparisons here, just so you guys can see the scale. They're pretty much, the Batmobile from the animated series is a little bit longer, but yeah, they both look great side by side. All right, here's a little bit of a comparison with the 89 Batman from Metal Diecast Jada Toys and the Batman the Animated Series. So you can obviously see the 89 Batman is a lot taller, only because he's standing up straight and the other one's kind of kneeling, but there is a little bit of a comparison with the two. And there you have it, guys. There is my review. Today we were taking a look at the brand new Jada Toys Metal Diecast Batman and Batmobile based off of Batman the Animated Series. This is definitely a pickup, guys. The Batmobile itself looks amazing. The Batman figure itself also looks great. So you're getting two really great pieces in this set. But as I always say, I wanna know what your guys' thoughts on this Batmobile and Batman figures. You know, what, what's your thought on this? Is it a pickup or is it a pass? Let me know in the comments below, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you guys haven't subscribed yet. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button to help support the channel. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you soon for more reviews. Later. Well, subscribe.